Bible-based movie Noah hitting theaters this past Friday night. Great flood is coming. The waters of the heavens. I mean the waters of the earth. We build a vessel to survive the storm. We build an ark. <laughs> But the big dollar Hollywood blockbuster drumming up controversy among Christians. Why? Because it barely mentions God. Joining us now to weigh in, Fox News religion contributor, Father Jonathan Morris. Good morning hey, to you. So Christians, some of them anyway, may be up in arms, but environmentalists are excited about it. You know, <laughs> it's a classic case of the book is much better than the movie. And um, I'm disappointed about that, actually, because I wanted Hollywood to do an awesome, they could have done an awesome job in this film. They put $140 million into it. And quite honestly, it's entertaining. It's escapism. It's kind of a double escape escapism, though. It's also escapism from the true story, from, from what's in the Bible. And I think if they had put that much talent and that much money into beginning with a, a, a source of inspiration rather than just, oh, we're going to make something, that a, right. a story about it, something everybody knows about, they, they miss the mark, and so, they're going to pay for it dearly. Where specifically does this movie disappoint? Well, first of all, uh, I think God comes across as, as this kind of en enigmatic, uh, impersonal force that tells you to do crazy things, number one. Number two, Noah is a strong character, and he definitely has... In inner conflict, which is fine, but he, he borderline schizophrenic, I, I would say. Um, just not it's, not, it's just not an inspiring movie. And I think that's why the real story is unbelievably inspiring. This guy was a great father who chose to do an unbelievably difficult thing, and God blessed him and the world for it. Well, $40 million worth of ticket sales. That's, but what does well, that say to you? $25 million on Friday, estimated $40 million over the weekend. Um, that pales compared to for example, the passion of the Christ. But um, I think what's going to happen is people, the word is going to spread that, gosh, they put a lot of money into advertising, so we got a big numbers on Friday, but it doesn't really live up to it. Um, I've seen on, on my Facebook and Twitter people saying, I said, who saw it and what did you think? Um, I saw maybe one or two people say, oh, I loved it. Most people were like, ah, disappointing. You know, it was kind of strange, kind of weird. Yeah, especially yeah. with the all-star cast with Russell Crowe there. Yeah, they're, they're great actors and a great director, but uh, just wrong starting point. Didn't start from the point of view of faith.